We also said that we can solve systems of equations graphically. So let's look at these equations and graph them accurately and see if we can find a solution from the graphs. 2x plus y equals negative 5. That's my first equation. I'm going to solve that for y. So I just subtract 2x from each side. And I get y equals negative 2x minus 5. That gives me an equation in y equals mx plus b form, which is easy to graph. y equals negative 2x minus 5. Negative 5 is the y-intercept. And the slope is negative 2. That means I go down 2 and over 1. Or I could do the reverse of that, go up 2 and to the left 1. And that would put me right here. And I can continue that pattern and draw in several points and then draw in the line. And there we go. Okay, that's the graph of this first equation. Now let's look at the second equation. Negative x plus 3y equals 6. And let's graph that. I'll add x to each side. And the x's cancel on the left. And that gives me 3y equals x plus 6. And then I'll divide each side by 3 and the threes cancel and I get y equals one-third x plus six over three which is just two. So again I get slope intercept form which is nice and easy to graph and I can see that this second line here has a y-intercept of two and a slope of one-third that means I have a rise over run of one-third. So I go up one and over three, and that puts me here. Or I could go down one and left three, and that would put me right there. And we can see where the two lines are going to cross. I'm going to go ahead and draw in this second line right there. And this is my answer, this point right here. The answer, the solution to the system, is the point negative 3, comma, 1. So I'll just write that. I'll write it as an ordered pair, x, y, and that's it. Or you could simply say x equals negative 3, y equals 1. That point is the x and y value that satisfies both equations.